So, where are we going today? Today, we are going to talk about The Heights, a neighborhood in Houston, Texas, that is known for its vibrant spirit and eclectic charm. And what are you, you are going to tell the viewers about this neighborhood? Well, we are going to tell you about the architectural style, the culinary, the lively entertainment, right? The green spaces uh, that are amazing. And maybe we get to hear from the locals too, right? Yes, and a little bit of history too yeah. we can add, right? So let's do it. Tell them where is the Heights? Well, it is located about four miles northwest of downtown Houston. It's right in the city, guys, uh, with easy access to I-10, I-45, and 610. So this place is right in the middle of the city, but once you get there, you feel like you're in some other place. Yeah, and did you know a funny fact is that the Heights was the first planned community in Houston, Texas? The Heights has been a melting pot of ideas and culture, shaping its unique individuality. It is also a playground where the arts come alive. The Heights offers an spectrum of fun and artistic expression. So if you are coming to visit the Heights, make sure to come before August, because on the first Saturday of August, what do they do? We have the White Linen Night. Now, this is a whole neighborhood big party where people from the Heights wear their best linen clothes. I mean, like they white. go I and mean, you have to see this. You have to see it, it's amazing. And they all do it for a good cause. It began in 2006, but it just keeps getting bigger. Now we have live music, we Arts. have food trucks, we have, you know, all the local businesses are open, all the local restaurants are open and everyone comes. They want people to come and support the local uh, businesses of the Heights. So, and it's all free. It's all free and you gotta bring your family, you can come and check them out. And this is a great sense of community, right? I mean, yes. they do it for their, uh, People their community. People love their community. So you like beer? Okay, don't forget to stop by at... The Big Star Bar in the Heights. It's just a super cool tiny bar from the outside. I mean, the building is just a tiny, tiny place, but guess what? It has some big outdoor spaces, right? So a lot of the locals go there just to relax. You know, they bring their dogs, their pets, or they bring their kids too. And guess what? It has a jukebox. How about that? I mean, when yeah. was the last time that you saw a jukebox? Now, so a lot of people just go there to hang out and it's a place that, you know, when you want to relax on a Sunday afternoon, you know, why not? You gotta go check it out. Go and get your beer. And if it is winter, they have the fire pits outside. Oh, they got all the fire yeah. pits outside. I mean, it's huge, huge on the outdoor spaces. So this is a place for you to check it out too. So how about the culinary scene in the Heights? Amazing. Excellent, like all the experience, so many different cultures and uh, ask me and I'll tell you. All right, so how about if I want to eat a good American hot dog? The good hot dog you have to stop by is so great. I mean, like all kind of hot dogs I and mean, they are amazing. I remember last time we went and even my sister was impressed and it's really really good like the quality and the place is so cute remember yeah i got it so how about french cuisine Ooh, uh it, one is called maison Pouchard. pardon my french and in that one the experience is amazing the cocktails you're gonna be blown away the tartare i mean like oh we just went there it's so good all right then how about some classic tex-mex food like a nice Ooh, place yes super rica, Ooh, super rica. Ooh, the fajitas and the margaritas oh my goodness those are amazing all right then how about if i if i want to switch in and say you know i want to have some classic oyster some southern food hmm for that one i would recommend uh la lucha remember yeah, yeah nicole took us there yeah, it's an oh amazing, gosh, amazing I remember. Place, Also, right? the, the drinks were really good. Yeah, the cocktails were really, really, yes. really, really, really good. Then how about, um, let us see, we got French, we got the sound. Oh, food. classic and, and like high-end American. American. How about American food? Yeah, Can it's I called it? Savio. Pardon again my pronunciation, right? Uh, that one, okay, I brought my sister from London and she was impressed. So that tells you that it's a good So they got thing. The, 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 the great uh, American cuisine, right? Yes. All, all the classic, you Like know, very, very culinary dishes. chef. I mean, like, 
beautiful and the serving are amazing. But uh, how about if I ask you then? Yeah. So how about Oktoberfest? Oh my God, if you want to celebrate Oktoberfest in the Heights, I mean, there are several places. The one that I recommend is uh, King's Beer House. I mean, the owner is from Austria and he has this super, super beer garden in the Heights. That, I mean, you go in there and then, you know, you're like, oh my God, I got to take my passport because I'm going to Germany. <laughs> I mean, they got, you know, your, um, your great German food traditional. They got great, great local beers that they make some and some that they bring uh, from Europe. So, you know, and they have music. Oh, yeah, live they got music. The, live music. The, the, the outdoor is amazing. The it's waiters are, are, you know, wearing their the traditional leather hose, and, you know, I mean, it's just a super, super cool experience. They're open all year round, uh, but Oktoberfest, I mean, you it's gotta check them out. Day. You gotta check them out. So, I guess, you know, when it comes down to culinary, the heights, I mean, it's, 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 it's a great place. Great right? place. So, people that want to move to the Heights, uh, what can they expect from the, you know, the type of homes right there? Because, I mean, I know it's a historic neighborhood, but, I mean, is it all old, old homes or, or, I mean, tell us about no. that. It's a mix of spectacular architectural style from the Victoria era, Queen uh, and Queen Victoria. And it was built by very prominent, wealthy families in Houston, but it also, is the mix of the old and the new. They have a lot of new construction. Uh, obviously, real estate there is way more expensive per square footage, so they built up. So they have a lot of townhomes with rooftops and, and three stories. They also have uh, homes, and they have a lot of homes that are considered historic. So you have, if you are gonna remodel, you need to have permit because you have to keep the architectural so, style. So you have to maintain the, the style of the home yes. for that. Wow, that, that's pretty neat. So. so makes it unique because you have the old and the new and everything in the same with the culture and the eclectic charm of the Heights. I mean, it's... And then mo most of these homes, uh, I mean, I know that people, do, do they, use cars when they, when they go out to these restaurants? I mean, when, when they're in the Heights? Uh, they mostly... Obviously they have cars. But I mean, no, do they Yeah, but they walk, they, they walk, they walk, because it's walkable. I mean, so it's, it's so great walkable. for walking. One of the main avenue, uh, it's so beautiful, charming. It has the Heights, the, Boulevard, right? the Heights Boulevard in the middle where people exercise, so walk their the dogs. Green and area around the middle. The yeah. cars, I mean, like, it's so charming. Oh, they have, Bicycle lanes, oh, wide yes, bicycle they lanes. Do. So I mean, it's so, like you know, it's they like promote a, exercise. Yeah, exercise. You know, different uh, methods. It's a great lifestyle. Yeah, and oh, that, that's that's really really cool. So yeah, and properties have doubled in the past, like um, more than five years. They have doubled. So prices keep going up. Yes, they go up. Now I I get the feeling that the people that want to move to the Heights are young families with, with young kids, right? And yes, also people yes. downsizing, right? Downsizing that they wanna come too, back so to the we city. should move there. Yeah, so they wanna yeah. come back to the city, you know, just, you know, go for a walk, you know, go to a nice yes. restaurant, get a glass of wine. And also uh, starting families starting with families, younger right? kids. Young, yes. young kids, so yes, that, that's you. pretty, pretty cool. So if you need more info on the homes. Yeah, right that's here. Impressive. Well, tell me about, a little bit about outdoor in the Heights. Now, even though the Heights is like very close to downtown Houston, it has plenty of green spaces, right? They have also amazing bike trails, jogging trails that go along uh, White Oak Bayou. Uh, and then it, it is just an amazing place to get on your bike, go for a ride, get your exercise done. How about the city tours? Oh, there's these guys, the uh, Bayou City Bike Tours. Uh, they will take you on a tour of these trails. And I mean, it's not only a ride. I mean, they will stop at different places. They will tell you a little bit about the history of the, of the heights. Uh, a little bit of history of Houston. Uh, I mean, if you want to go for the experience of learning about the city and the heights, I mean, these an guys An exercise. Do, uh, an exercise, these guys are amazing. So, I mean, plenty, plenty, plenty of, you know, um, exercise opportunities and learning about history too. So, can you tell me a little bit about the park? What is the name? Yeah, there, there, there are several parks uh, in the heights, uh, but there is one that is super, super cool. It's called Marmion Park. And this park used to be part of one of the first mansions in the area built in 1892, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, one of the you know first families that, that, that moved uh, from Massachusetts, from the early, early settlers, they, they moved here and then and they built this mansion. what is the coolest thing about that? That, story. That, that park, well, the, the park it used to be part of the house and, you know, the house eventually uh, burned, but, you know, that home 
was one of the first homes in Houston that got electricity. I mean, that is super cool. I mean, the, the, the home, you know, as I mentioned, uh, burned, but I mean, the park's still there for you just to go relax, maybe take your yoga mat, you know, do a couple of, you know, yoga sessions in there. I mean, it's super, super neat. And guess what? It's just right in the middle of the city. Last but not least, tell them about 19th Street. 19th Street in the Heights is a super, super cool place. Uh, they have a whole bunch of uh, local shops, uh, but they also have the Heights Theater. I mean, if you're into live music, just going into the Heights Theater, I mean, it's a whole different experience. And it's so beautiful. People go there just to do pictures because it looks like uh, like out of the movie scene. Yeah, it looks like a movie set. I mean, it's just amazing. And if you like that, that music scene, I mean, when you go in there, I've been to a couple of concerts, the, the, it feels so so intimate. I mean, it's like you are right there with the musicians. It's just a super, super cool place. But we also have uh, White Oaks. Uh, yep, and we're going soon home. to a concert there. Yeah, we're going to go to a yeah. concert. And, you know, it's great. All the, the things that you got to do in the Heights, music scene, you got your restaurants, local shops, a great mm -hmm. sense of community. And, I mean, homes, the type of homes you the can choose. The different styles you can choose of from homes. many different styles. So, like all new, everything. I mean, like the heights. Historic, I mean, you you got it. I mean, if you are a young family starting out or maybe you just want to downsize, move uh, back to the city, I mean, the heights is a that, great place, that place for you. So I hope uh, we hope that you guys like this video. Uh, do you want to close it, Rosie? Yeah. Send it to a friend so they learn a little bit more about the heights.